What is up, good people? I'm back. Um, it's been a long time. I haven't said that in a while. Um, I made a video or two here and there, but I haven't actually said that in a while. It feels good to say it. Um, but thank you for taking the time to join me. I appreciate it. Uh, each and every one of you, each and every time. As you work through the beginning of this 2022, I just want to take a second and share just a quick reminder. All right, for any and all of us who desire a relationship with God, who want him to come in and, and to move in your heart and in your life and, and to guide you in, in the right direction, remember that we have to make room for him to do those things, right? If we're filling up our lives with, with school and work and, and partying or gossiping or or this or that, you know, any, any of those things, right? Not saying that they don't have a place, but if we're filling up our lives and putting all of our focus on those things and not making room for God, then there won't be a relationship, right? He won't move in our lives, okay? Because what he's not gonna do is to enter into your life and start pushing and moving them things around and saying, this is my place in your life, have me, okay? He's not that type of God, right? That's like saying if somebody showed up at your crib talking about, oh, you know, I'm about to move in, you'd be looking like, so who, who are you, right? God's not gonna do that, okay? So if you think about it, when we get off track and start wilding or you know, start feeling anxious or unsettled or doing things out of our character or, or feel lost, take a step back and think like, all right, where does God fit into this? Have I made room for him in what it is that I'm doing right now? Where does God fit in this, right? Or, or did I evict him? Was he here and now he's gone? Did I evict God from my life? And this is why things are where, the way that they are, right? Think about that, okay? So when I say make room for God, I'm not saying put him in the, in the guest room in your life, right? The room back in the corner with no windows, all right? I'm saying put God in the penthouse, okay? Put him up high, right? Take good care of God, man. Make sure that he knows that there is a place for him to come to be comfortable, right? Make room for him. And the penthouse, the room with all the windows, right? When you, when you look at that building and you see the penthouse, a lot of times it's got a lot of windows. You can see it. It's all lit up and everything. Make sure that people know that this is where God lives, right? Make sure that if you want your life to reflect God, okay, put him in the penthouse. Take good care of God. Prioritize him. Make room for that relationship. You understand? That's why in church, they encourage us to invite God into our lives, right? Because God will show up when he knows that there is room that has been made for him to come in and live, right? There is room in our hearts. There's room in our lives for him to live, for him to operate, right? God, you can take your shoes off, man. Get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So I just encourage you as we move through this 2022, make sure that we're making room and keeping room for God, all right? Because if we're going to keep it a hundred, God paid his mortgage for your life a long time ago. All right? You feel what I'm saying? Hey, man. So for you not to make room in your life for him now, it's almost disrespectful. You already know where to find me. Hashtag Easy Speaks. So if we keep it in a hundred, God paid his mortgage a long time ago for your life. All right? Let's keep it real now. <laughs>